2014, I will become the first African-American president of the Society of American Magicians, um, which is, uh, will set a precedence. Since 1902, there have never been um, an African-American in this position. There have been several in the past who've um, made great strides in the magic business. We have uh, Henry Box Brown, um, early 1800s. We have uh, Richard Potter. Richard Potter was around 1811, um, very big in his day. And then we come to a gentleman by the name of Black Herman. Black Herman um, toured the world making a significant amount of um, money for that day and time. There have been several African Americans throughout history. Um, laws have prevented some from performing outright where they've had to change their culture or, or their image. Um, one being where he Instead of being a black magician, instead of being a black magician, he had to change himself and his image to be East Indian, where he would wear a turban, and um, then he was accepted to perform. Uh, there was one uh, gentleman that stands out for me. Is, uh, his name was Frank Brents, and he told me a story how they would not let him sit in the theater to watch other performers. So he would sneak backstage, and so when he was doing his magic, he learned it from the back view. I mean, it was very good from the front, but it was reversed because that was the only time they would let him see the magic was from backstage. And then when the show was over, he had to run out the back door um, so he wouldn't be caught. 